If uh, today is your first time at joining this class, my name is Prof. Uh, you can just call me Prof. And also, uh, I'm teaching this whole thing for free. I'm not charging anybody anything. So those of you who have been coming to my DM asking how much is my class, I'm not doing any other private class aside this one. This is the only class I'm running. And I'm teaching everything. If you guys think I'm lying, okay, go and show this thing to any of your mentors that have mentored you before and see if they themselves cry will not join this class. Because whatever I'm teaching you, they'll tell you is supposed to be paid for. I am releasing every information that is supposed to be taught to premium class. I'm releasing everything to you guys on this free training session and everything is being uploaded to my youtube channel accurate peeps as you can see that is what is, uh, the screen i've shown shared right now that is what you are seeing there accurate peeps and you can see all the videos the previous lessons we've done they are all here you can see them every single video and uh, some of them are really receiving views and i'm um, getting feedback from a lot of people who are not even on the page, who, who some of them joined straight to the uh, Telegram channel because I realized today, I, I realized we are 500 plus on the Telegram channel and we are 400 and something on the, on the um, WhatsApp page. So if you are on Telegram and you are not on WhatsApp, please do well to join the WhatsApp page as well. And if you are on WhatsApp and you are not on the Telegram page, do well to join the Telegram channel as well. All the links to all our social media platforms are in the description of this video. Okay, so if you are you are you didn't join us from the beginning, do well to um, do well to go back to the channel Accurate Tips and watch the previous lessons and get an understanding to uh, the lessons very, very well. All right, that is enough. So let's come back to today's uh, activity. As I said, we'll be looking at IFCs, that is Institutional Funded Candles, okay? The way I might, I'm going to explain this is different from how other mentors might have explained to you or what you are, might have learned in the past to be uh, institutionally funded candles. My explanation is going to be quite um, different from most of the things you have learned. So you have to pay close attention to whatsoever I'm going to say. But let me give five minutes for questions from previous lessons, the other blog, the other flow. If you have any question, please unmute yourself and ask your question or drop the uh, comments in the chat. Okay, Emmanuel, so you can unmute yourself. Yeah, so you can ask your question now. Uh, okay, my question is that uh, on the other block. Yeah. Um, throughout the week, um, I was you know examining and watching out to you know to figure out them, but I've seen that not all of them. Um, how do you say that? Not all of the high, the previous high and the low are uh, liquidated. Not all the previous highs and lows are liquidated. Yeah. So, but you thought, you said that um, if the previous high and the low is not liquidated, it's not a valid order block. So, I'm asking, by, from my point of view, is that. No. Um, no. Okay. It, it, you have to be specific, okay? If the previous low of the, uh, if the low of the previous candle in a bearish, uh, sorry, in a bullish trend, okay, is not liquidated, we cannot use that as an order block. It's not valid. What you are talking about right now, the lows and the highs of the structure or the what? IDM what? is... What? Come again. I'm not talking about the structure. I'm talking about the, the candle. The candle. Yes. So you have to be specific because we are going to learn something again that is going to be uh, uh, in relation to the structure. Uh, 
okay. Was... So it means what? Also, if you are dealing, you are, the question you are asking now is pertaining to the candlesticks that we yes. are using as the other block. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So, so once it is not taken, it's not valid. Okay. Oh. Yes. Well, we need the money to be grabbed. We need uh, the money to be grabbed by the institution. So but, but, no one that grabs the money. Grabbing of money, when I say grabbing of money, means taking of liquidity. Liquidity is simply money. Yes. You get the point. Yeah, so I get the one who grab the money is the one in charge. So it is the one we can use as the other block. And mind you, we need to have imbalance as well. No yes. imbalance. Even if it grabs that money and we don't have imbalance, it is still invalid. That means we have to shift to the next candlestick. Uh, yeah, if you watch the video well, you realize I said if uh, this one grabs the liquidity and even there is no imbalance on the one that grabs the liquidity, you move to the next candlesticks and see is there an imbalance? Then you pick that one as the other block. Otherwise, you have to look for the next other block. Let's get started. If there's no other question, if there's no further question, let's get started. Okay, so I'm sharing my other um screen this is a fantastic um this thing what is the name topic so you have to pay attention as i said today we will not be taking long i'll only be treating the um how do we call it the theory today for this particular and then some few demonstrations then in the next lesson or if it is video i'll post later on you have uh, the demonstration on the live chat, but today I only use the diagram to demonstrate what an IFC is and how to identify them in the market. Okay, that's what we are going to do today. All right, um, we have diagram A and diagram B here, but before I come to them uh, to talk about them, first let's look at what an IFC is. Okay, so as I already mentioned that IFC stands for Institutional Funded Candles, okay? Now, these are candles that take out, or let me say, grabbed all the money in terms of structure or uh, IDM. Please, if you are unmuted, kindly mute yourself. Please, uh, let me check the person and mute. All right, so uh, let's continue. As I was saying, these are candles that fake out or grab liquidity or the money below or above, okay, in terms of strata or inducement and not candlesticks. That's why I put it here, not candlesticks. When we are dealing with other blocks, we deal with the candlesticks, the individual candlesticks. But this one, we are dealing with structure in terms of candlestick structure and overall structure. And I taught you these two types of structure previously. So here we are not dealing with individual candlesticks like I did for you during um, the other block. Okay, we are, that's not what we are doing here. We are looking at here, but here we are looking at grabbing liquidity or grabbing the money, okay? Grabbing the money in terms of structure. So either we are taking structural reversal point out or inducement reversal point out, okay? Once that happens and a certain type of candlestick known as the IFC is formed, then we can look for a buy or a sell depending on the trend in which we are Okay, so we can go for the long term buy or the short term buy. You can go for the long term sell or the short term sell, depending on the trend. And I'll, I'll talk about that. I'll explain that. All right, so what I mean by all this is that that candle sweep the odds, the previous structural low or high. It is the candle that sweeps the previous odd, structural low or high. Now, if we are in a bullish trend, then it is the candle that sweeps the previous structural low, whether inducement structure or the overall structural 
uh, low, and then the candle body closes above that level. Okay, so let me show you something. So let's say uh, here in structure A, okay, this is our last low before this high, okay. Then price came and swept this low. Now, this red candle, that looks like a hammer. The color does not matter whether red or green. It doesn't matter. I've always been telling you what we are is um, most important here is the formation. So candlesticks that we are going to use to look out for IFCs, the types of candlesticks we'll be looking at is what? Is hammer shooting uh, star, like those candles with long wick, small body, dojis and cool, okay? Long wick, small body candles, okay? They form the IFCs. They form the IFC because they are the ones that grabs the liquidity below or above the structural lows and odds, highs, okay? And after grabbing, the candle body closes below that point. So if you remember when I was doing the structure, I told you that when the candle body does not close above the previous high, then BOS is not confirmed. If you remember that, or change of character is not confirmed, if you remember that. So for instance, let's say we have something like this over here. So here, let's say this is the candle formation, okay? So this guy, the body is here, and then the wick of the candle came down like this. So this, something like this is what we are looking at. Okay, so you see, the wick came, sweep the low over here, but then the body closed above the structural low. Once we see this type of formation, and then we see the next movement going up, okay? We see the next movement going up like this. This is, this particular one that sweep this low is referred to as IFC, an IFC, okay? An institutionally funded candle. So that candle is just to go and take out the stop losses the sell stops and all the liquidity below that point, okay? All those who are uh, selling <clears throat> at that point and will put their SL above, all those that are buying at that point and will put their SLs below, all those that set sell stops, all those that set uh, buy limits and go and put their uh, SL below, is going to activate all those orders. And in doing so, we call it liquidity grabbing or sweeping of liquidity that is grabbing the money below that area so all the money below here is being or taken before market goes above all right so in this case we will be looking for the candle that took out the previous low or high and close above the low as we have seen here okay or below the high so for instance if it is in this area this candle like this, for instance, it means it is closing below this high. I will explain this, the, the two diagrams into details very soon. All right. All right. So close above the low or below the high to confirm that market is looking for the reversal or looking for the continuation. All right. Now, these institutional candles are mostly seen at the top and bottom of the structure, okay? So they are mostly seen at the bottom here or the top part, okay? The top portion or the bottom portion of the structure. Those are the areas these institutional candles are mostly found, all right, guys? All right, now, these institutional candles uh, uh, sorry, I've, I've just talked about that. Uh, the formation shows strong indication for reversal once market takes out the structural liquidity. Okay, so once market sweeps the structural liquidity here, then it is an indication that 
we are coming strong indication that we are coming to reverse to the upside okay we are reversing to the bullish continuation or whatsoever all right then if it happens at the top it means it is a strong indication we are pushing down all right so these are the things you should you should take notice of now once this happens all you need to do is to wait for lower time frame confirmation to buy or to sell now once you see this liquidity graph you just mark that area which i'll talk about it right now just mark that area as your as your zone of interest or point of interest poi okay which the, in this case is an ifc not a, an other block okay though it can be seen as an other block but it's an ifc because we are looking at in terms of the structural graph of what liquidity and not a single candle stick graph of what liquidity okay so here we are looking at the entire point turning point being grabbed by the previous one for instance let's say um this candle let's say it is in bullish move and then its low has been grabbed and then we had a continuation then we say okay the one that grabbed the low of this guy becomes our odd our um other block or let's say this guy here its week grabs the high of this guy we are in a bearish that means this guy becomes our odd, our other block because it has grabbed the liquidity of what of this guy okay have grabbed liquidity from this guy so like this and then we expect that when market comes here market to push down but then we will have to go for lower time frame confirmation and these are things we'll be learning very soon we are almost getting to entries so during entries you see how you can be able to use lower time frame to what to make entries okay you'll be able to use lower time frames to make entries in terms of let me uh admit some people okay so you'll be able to see how to use lower time frames for instance let's say this h4 so if i do analysis on h4 i'm going to be using uh 15 minutes as my lower time frame for entry if i use h1 as my analysis higher time frame analysis then i'm going to be using five minutes for my entry if i use 15 minutes as my higher time frame i use one minute for my entry okay and we'll be using looking at the different types of what entry models the chalk model the flip model and the single candle other block model okay so be prepared for um that now so let's say market is bullish okay so i'm coming to these guys now so this drawing is for bullish momentum okay so let's say market is bullish okay um and then market takes out the previous reversal low could be the uh, lower low or the inducement low okay now when market takes this reversal low it creates what we call an ifc just as you can see over here in this uh, diagram a here okay so you can see this that's why i point towards this point this point it means uh, this kind of formation is what happened here just as I've drawn here. So here we can see liquidity has been, the structural liquidity has been swept by this IFC candle. So what we are going to do is that we are going to mark that IFC candle as our uh, point of interest so that when market later reverse into this area on the lower time frame, okay, on the lower time frame. So not on the same time frame. So if maybe let's say, we locate this IFC on 15 minutes. Um, where, where, where was I when the uh, audio went off? Where was I when the audio? One person can unmute himself and let me know. Where was, uh, what was I talking about when the audio went off? You were talking about um, you not taking the entries based on that same time frame, but the lower time frame, and that's when your voice went off. Thank you. Sorry about that. All right. So. I'm saying that if let's say this 15 minutes and I found this IFC zone on 15 minutes, I'm not going to make my entry on the same 15 minutes. I'm not, I'm not going to wait for price because on 15 minutes, price can choose to maybe 
come and reach here and then push up okay but if i go down to um the lower time frame okay of one minute you will see that um there could be this formation of other blocks okay single tender order block a flip okay a demand flip a supply flip any of them okay that i can make my entry from from there all right so we don't make the entry from the time frame that you are making the analysis you make the analysis when price taps into your zone you now wait and not you flip into the lower time frame and pick entry there based on the confirmations you'll be learning in the subsequent uh, lessons when we get there because after this lesson we have to look at um liquidity okay retail liquidity um um session liquidity and then daily and weekly liquidity we have to look at those topics before we come to making an entry uh in the market so gradually we are getting there okay all right so now how do i mark this okay now remember when we were dealing with other blocks i told you that uh imbalance is very important okay same applies here also if there is no imbalance there is no uh valid ifc okay so you have to um let's say uh, we have um, another candlestick stick from here okay like this but then let's say the week of this candlestick mitigates the red candlestick that forms the ifc okay in this case when i'm drawing my ifc i will not take the entire body like this no I will not take the entire, but I will take only the week like this. I will take only the week of what? Of the IFC. So let's say, come in, let me get this. Okay. So let's say something like this. I'll take only the week. I'll mark the week alone as our point of interest. Why? Because the week is referred to, the week is also known as an imbalance area. But if, let's say, the week of this uh, next candle comes to mitigate this guy like this, and then also we don't have an imbalance between this guy and the IFC candle, okay, like this, then what we are going to do is we are going to move to the next candle, just like we did in the other block. You now move to this candle. If there is, what, there is an imbalance between this candle and the next candle that is formed. So let's say if another <clears throat> candle is formed here like this, and there is imbalance between this one and this one, then we can use this as our, what, our IFC zone. Please take note of that. So it's very important to know this. Now, sometimes in bullish trends also, we can have what we call short-term sell. So let's come to diagram B. So let's say this high here, okay, this high was just swept. Instead of um, candle body closing above it so that we have a proper BOS, that is break of structure, price only swept uh, the high and then the body of the candle closed below it. When that happened, it means there is an indication of a reversal. Though we don't have a confirmation of BOS, we are indicating a reversal in the market. So with this one, because we are in a bullish trend, you can um, buy, sorry, you can sell, all right, but your sell has to be, um, how do I put it? Your sell, has to be a short-term sell, okay? So here also, we have our IFC like this. You draw it full if there is an imbalance between this and the third candle. But if there is no imbalance between them, then you are going to only draw up to the week here. But if this guy fully, if the week here fully mitigate up to 50% of it, then we will now move it to the next candle if there is an imbalance that follows the formation of that candle. So when price now returns back to this zone on the lower time frame, then you can now make your entry 
of that zone on the lower time frame. Okay, so this is how we locate IFC. So let me revert. Let me revert this. Uh, invert this so that we look at it in terms of. So if it is in the bearish, is the same thing. Candle color doesn't matter. So in the bearish trend, also when we have this sweeping the previous high, whether it is the inducement high or the uh, overall structural high, recent high, you ought you mark that area as your ought, as your IFC, and then you wait for price to push within it, and then you ought you take your sell on the lower time frame. This is the long term sell. But when we come to structure B, because we are in a downtrend, but this just sweep the previous low without a candle body closing below it, we will take a short term buy. That's why I was telling you that we can buy and sell within the same trend, but one is going to be a short term and one is going to be a long term. So in a bearish trend, the sell is the long term and then trade and then the buy is the short term trade so it's like you are you are uh, buying in a count uh, you are counter buying in a downtrend okay so that is how we ought we locate and mark the ifcs in the market all right the floor is open any question you can unmute yourself and ask these are important topics so if you have any question you can unmute yourself and ask it as I said before, this is not the end. Even after we finish this course, I'll continue making videos randomly on topics that I see people ask questions uh, on a lot to uh, give more insights and explanation on them. And there will be time I'll do weekly analysis. I, as I told you, during training time, I don't uh, bother you guys with charts and things to, on the page. Otherwise, I'll be distracting you from the goal. So that's why you don't see any buy this, sell this, or I'm dropping chart for you guys. No, I don't do that during the period I'm teaching you. Okay, so questions. Yeah. Um, about the imbalances, can you take it there again? Because I think I'm confusing. Come again. About the, the imbalance. The yeah. I have, yeah, see, the yeah, imbalance. I said, I said if if there is no imbalance present after the formation of the between this the IFC candle for instance, but let's say, okay, I think I have the a, a better demonstration here. So this is your the red candle here is your IFC candle, okay. But let's say, let me bring this week down here. Okay, so let's say this guy there is. Uh, no imbalance between this and this because the week here have mitigated the lower week of the red candle. Okay, when that happened, we mark this uh, the week session of the uh, IFC candle because that is also an imbalance. The week of the IFC candle is also an imbalance. But if the candle that proceeds it immediately mitigates half of this, then we don't consider the week as the odds as the uh, zone anymore but we will move to the next candle after the ifc candle and see if there is imbalance between this and the third the high of the third candle then we use this as our ifc zone okay just like we did for the other block are you okay now emmanuel okay all right please any other question Okay, so I have a question. Go on. Yeah, please. So the diagram A. So we are assuming that the diagram A is a, a bearish trend, and then the diagram B is also still a bearish movement, but it's more of um, a bullish short-term move in the bearish move. So the sweep yeah, over... Um, the... Uh, with the diagram B, it's also yeah. a bearish trend, all right. But okay. here... We are taking a short term buy. You see, we only sell in bearish trend, okay? But in this case, because we see an yes. IFC formation based on the fact that okay. it took a structural low, 
but closed okay. above it, which is an indication, a strong indication of a, a reversal. Okay, and that reversal could be a pullback. And we may, maybe we feel we don't want to miss that pullback. We can just take that pullback on a short term because that is not the actual trend. Okay. So is this it, one, we call it IFC, not inducement. Which one? If you listen well, I said either a structural low or an inducement low. Oh, okay, okay. So this area, this point that has been taken out here, okay, this yeah. point here, come in. This point here is the point that has been taken out by this. And over here, that is where we are seeing this formation at this point. Are you getting it? So this, taking yeah. this out could be an inducement. So if it is an inducement that is confirming, let's say, um, what is the name? Here we are in a downtrend, so this cannot be an uh, an inducement. Let's say if it were to be an uptrend, that is when you say it is an inducement confirming a high. Okay. Uh, that was what I was asking. Yes. So in this case, this one is like instead of creating a DOS, the structure B, instead of creating a DOS, or maybe let's say, yeah, instead of creating a uh, a break of structure. So that to go and create a new low, it only sweep the uh, previous low without yeah. the candle body closing below it. So okay. when that happens, then we know that it is an indication of a reversal. Maybe before yeah. later on market to come and properly break that area. If you remember when I was teaching you the structural formation, I sure. talked about um, uh, the fact that sometimes market will just sweep the low of the previous low, and that means that that is not a break of structure. But just liquidity grab. So here yes. we are showing you how you can trade that liquidity grab using what we call an IFC. All right. Is it clear now? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Please, any other uh, question before we close? All right, so if there's no other question, I thank you guys for coming. Don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Guys, you are not sharing the video, you are not sharing the WhatsApp page link, you are not sharing the um, Telegram channel. Charlie, you don't want your friends to learn some. Eh? See, let your friends learn some, okay? It's free of charge, we are not taking anything. So let them join, let them learn. This year, I posted something on the WhatsApp page. I told you that this year, you have to be using your phone to, uh, to make legit money online. And the fact is you should start learning and start trading now. So let your friends come on board, okay? I love you guys. I'll see you. Don't forget all the links to the various social media is in the description of all our videos and all our pages. Do well to follow us on all of them. Have a nice evening. The video will be uploaded for you guys all. Thank you.